I always want self-improvement or classes of something or something, anything. More cooking. I went to that Cordon Bleu if anybody follows my blog, they know, and that was super fun. So maybe my husband will give that to me again. What yeah. happens to the old sets, the loft, the cheating heart, etc.? I know I said shenanigans the other day, that was so funny. Like, I, I, it was said it on the show. I said on the, uh, yeah, my lines were, I, I was meeting you at shenanigans or something like that. When you first met me at shenanigans, I? I always made your heart pound. <laughs> she doesn't remember the heart pound part. <laughs> well, you do, apparently. Uh, do you still find time to bake your pies? I want you guys to know I made one yesterday morning before the uh, event. Because uh, our NBC guy, Bruce Evans, his mom, who I sat next to at the Emmys a few years back, loves apple pie. I made her one, I sent her one, and then she was in town. So I got up at like 6 a.m. yesterday and made that pie. Um, I have friends that read your comments on my Instagram and things like that, and they always say, gosh, did you see what so-and-so wrote? And so I'll go back and read it, and you guys are great. The feedback is great, and I'm kind of uh, shaky in uh, social media, but I'm getting better. And I started my Instagram on Thanksgiving with my nephew and my daughter last year, where they were telling me, no, no spaces, and the hashtag, eh, whatever. You know? And uh, that, and with Mandy's help, I, I really, it's fun. I enjoy it. Do any of you guys read my Plank blog? Yeah. yeah. So if you have ideas of things, too, I mean, this is really every week, it's a lot to try to come up with something. So if you have to think of something that's cool in your neighborhood or something you want to talk about, send us the idea. Maybe we'll put it up. Oh, there you go. Oh. I mean, when we have weeks where we work a lot, it's a lot of memorizing. You should tell them about that. What? About all the memorizing. <laughs> it's a lot. But it's not just showing up and doing it. There's so much homework. I don't memorize. Don't you know that I have an earbud? They just speak my lines. That's so not true. <laughs> so not true. If you've ever seen one of his scripts, uh, they, he crosses out, he rewrites, he arrows, he... he uh, one of the directors it. looked at my script the other day, in fact, and he said, What is that devil scratch? <laughs> I have so many notes and stuff in the right. margins, and you and I, we fix it up, don't we? Babe? Right. And he'll send me a screenshot or something about these changes. I usually, when I'm memorizing, I circle a word in the paragraph I don't, because I'm not remembering each time. And then before you know it, sometimes like every word in the paragraph is circled. <laughs> You're going to love this. It doesn't have a name. No one wanted a cop to write this question. <laughs> Let's see who kind of like looks You ready? Does rape smell good? <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you, it's Stephen, I wish he was doing his contacts right now. Stand up, lady. I have such I a mad crush on him. I have a mad crush on him. He is so cute. And funny. And smells good. And I, whenever I get my makeup done, it seems like he comes in, he's behind, you know, next after me or something. And he's putting moisturizer on his face like, look, I put moisturizer on his face. I do. Well, I don't see you do it, but watching him do it is pretty good. I, I think he's dreamy, but he's kind of my type. He's kind of your type. He's kind of your type. Yeah. So cute. Tall, dark, and good smelling. <laughs> Why? I, I have an answer. Yeah, try to be quiet. It's quiet. It's hard. Come on, baby. Jump I on. think. I think especially this time, it was five minutes, four minutes probably, where it all seemed right that he was back, that Joey had aged ten years overnight. <laughs> And that had never happened to me actually on the show, and I, but it all just seemed right. And we, I mean, we just had this incredible connection that it's just there for us. And I have to say, I love the little video montage things you guys put together on Twitter and stuff. Because we haven't seen that stuff. I mean, I don't know if I ever saw it, because I never, I never saw it. And to see him now, I, and, and I swear, especially him, like, my breathy voice, I could seriously live without, but him, <laughs> his swagger and his thing, and I just think it's so fun to watch that stuff. So thank you guys for doing that, because that's really cool. I love the ones that kind of go like a video, and it goes to another square video, and I, that's so cool. I love that. Question. Before his return, Stephen teased on Twitter, you had a project together in the works. Whoa. 
Was that days, or do you have other projects you're working on? Well, actually, my wife wrote a really funny little sitcom for Mary Beth and myself that we were planning to do as a web series. And we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. It's it's hysterically funny. You're gonna love it. Yeah, also, I, I remember a long time ago. I think maybe we were getting married, and I said, "Why does it have to be where they break us up, whatever?" And it's because they feel, and it's probably true, that that's. Uh, the, the drama and conflict is what pushes the show, and that's what it is. And I mean, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I like crying with these characters. I like watching and being excited for the kiss or the breakup or the makeup and thing of other people. So that's what drama and conflict create story, and that you know that's going to keep us on the air. And I know for you guys, I'm telling you, in the next six months, it is a roller coaster ride of crazy things, and some things are going to go, are you crazy? I can't believe you guys did that. But just hang in, because cool things keep happening, and the twists and the, t the turns are, are, are good, but you're not, you're not going to like everything. I can already tell you. <laughs> Some pretty racy stuff, but, but, uh, but I think for us, I, I've said this to people before, I think for us, we, um, they have this foundation of love, and whatever the conflicts and things that will happen, they'll always come back to trying to capture that. So, um, so hang with us. If you don't like something, stay tuned, because it's like the weather in Chicago or something, wherever they say, you know, five minutes, it'll be different, but. I think looking crappy with your mate is like one of the most romantic things. <laughs> I wish she didn't use the mic for that. And, uh, no, when our hair is all sticking up in the morning, my husband and I have our readers on, and I think that that's the cutest time. I love that time. Me too. In fact, we had a few times, we've had a few times like six o'clock in the morning when we know that we're both up memorizing or something and we sit, see, like, like take a selfie of, of this is how I like, oh my god, I wish I had it in my phone. They're so funny. You're not showing those things. I don't know. They're so funny. And he's like, get out. And I'm like, it's so funny. Before the coffee. But then we both like are cracking up like, yeah, here I am too. <laughs> Off camera, I would say the two of us running lines all the time and running and we're running and it's so stressful and then it becomes like a pressure cooker and he might just say, I say my line and then he goes, uh, I don't think that's proper English. You might want to look at that again or something. <laughs> and then I'll start laughing and then I'll hear, I'm laughing and I hear him go, uh. <laughs> and then we're both hysterical and I'm crying and if, we're, if it's on set when that happens then the makeup lady's like, oh my god. So off camera, that happens probably at least once a week because we're just so pressurized in this memorizing thing. But um, on camera, I think that drunk scene we did a long time ago with the thing that was pretty fun. What's the thing? What's the thing? Well, clothes or something. I forget. I don't remember. Yeah, I, think I, I think I remember it more from somebody posting. You were an adorable drunk. Drunk? Yeah. Not in real life. I mean. <laughs> How many of you are generational watchers? Like your parents or whatever? That's cool, isn't it? I, I, my mom, I mean, of course my mom, my, my mom and I talk about it now, and it's, I mean, for me it's more like, you know, your hair. <laughs> or, I don't like all that eyeliner. Like that kind of stuff, you know? But um, I think for a lot of people, it gives them just a topic to talk to their grandma about and stuff. I think that's really fun. I think that's really cool. Wow, this place is cool. He's like, take a couple pictures or something. And I thought, and I thought it was so odd. Like it never dawned on me that I didn't bring him, and that he had never seen it. And it's so it's a, a we. It's a totally separate. Turn this down, but Kim, turn that down. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's parasitic. Oh, 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 I don't know about that. That's I'm a new thing. I'm doing a live video of our event right now. Yeah. 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 Oh, Periscope, shoot it out oh, all over the world. What are all Say those hello, scripts? Everybody. What are those scripts? Uh, there's people, people commenting as we take. As we it's live, right? It's live. Oh, better be careful what it is. It only stays up for 24 hours. What's the smoking thing in the corner? Those are hearts. It's hearts. It's people like the smoke. Oh, they're lighting it. Look at, ooh, there's a lot of lights. Wait, let me see how many lights I get now. of you going or hoping to do, going to or hoping to do, more theater in the future? Yeah. Oh, I just, you That's know what? the next thing we're going to I do. was just, uh, some friends of mine who have started a nonprofit. Manny, do we know the name of it yet? One World Stage. One World Stage. And they're taking the arts to underprivileged kids in schools. 
So I just met with him the other day about maybe next year this time, instead of Steve and I doing this, we'll do some kind of play that maybe his wife will write, some other kind of little love story or something, and we'll do that next year for sort of an event with, you know, see people. So that might be a fun, fun thing. So maybe we'll do a play in a year. And that, I, I told the people, I said, that's about how much time we need right now to memorize something because we have so much other memorizing. Well, I, I'll tell you one, that I would stay married to, that, that, that Patch and Kayla are become like Bill and Susan Hayes and are married for years and years and years. But actually, that, that we become the patriarch and the matriarch of the show, if the show lasts that long. It, that would be, what, 50 years from now? <laughs> Really it would be, amazing. you know, maybe uh, maybe 20 years. We could sort of age up a little bit. 20 years for you. <laughs> 30. I was once, my husband and I were once going to like a little sledding park with our kids and we were climbing up the little snow thing and this lady goes, come on, come on Shane and Kayla. <laughs> They did a whole uh, special People magazine Purple came to magazine. our studio and shot really pretty pictures. In fact, I would like to get a copy of this picture because I think it's so cute. Uh, it's really and you know, okay, you know, you guys want to know who I wish I was on the show? I just saw her picture. I wish they would dress me like her. <laughs> so she dresses herself. You know, oh she God. was in fashion. She was an artist before I she I love the way she dresses. Lauren Coslow? Yeah. Yeah, you guys know that, right?